All right, so today I wanted to, to try a little science experiment here. Uh, I'm going to see if I could make um, some Prince Rupert drops. I have all the ingredients. I have glass, water, and torches. So uh, I figured I'd get this fired up and see what we can do. Sorry about the white noise in the background. It's the uh, regenerative air blower. I'll try to talk over it. But, uh, so we got our torches lit pretty hot. Nice violet flame, and uh, let's see what we can do. I don't know if you can see it. Getting a little bit of sodium flare there. That orange glow. Here it goes. Nice. It seems my uh, borosilicate beaker there can. Uh, ooh. <laughs> and the Prince Rupert drop seem to explode underwater. Something compromised the integrity of the drop. And there's a whole lot of glass bits, shards in the bottom. Let's try it again here. Another one. Well, here it is. Let's see if we can zoom in on it here or focus on it. I think it seems to be intact because normally it would just shatter if it were compromised. So maybe check it out. We'll get you close up of forming one in action here. 
Alright, uh, we're gonna try again. Alright, here it comes. That's a pretty good one. Pretty good one. Look at that. Little guy. I'm really tempted to break it. Should I try to break it? Maybe I can put on some protective wear. <laughs> try this. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, oh, look at that. Wow, it worked. Just turned into dust almost. Nice. You make another one. Well, man, it's a big. It's a big one. Ah, boom, it compromised. Too big. Too big. All right, here's another one. Here it comes. All right. This one retain cohesion. Oh, it did. Very nice specimen. Prince Rupert would be proud.